Today we're going to take you to Danyong Beach, uh, where we took Cassie, our dog, for a run. She just absolutely loved it and we'll show you around. Cassie, our dog, has been cooped up no at home uh, quite a bit and she's absolutely yep. happy to be out there yeah. at Tanjong Beach. Got our tickets and Cassie. we went into um, number two. They cordoned off uh, two parts of the beach so that people can social distance and you can see Cassie enjoying him herself. It's a dog life. Um, she just absolutely love it. She loves the sand. What can I say? We do have to leash Cassie uh, whenever she's not in the water. Uh, she kind of refused to get into the water and uh, we you know, sort of have to uh, uh, entice her with some treats and then uh, leash her as requested by the park rangers. So we're out here at Tanjong Beach in Sentosa Island and there's plenty of dogs here and uh, probably dog school bringing the dogs to swim and things like that. Cassie really liked uh, the beach. She was just chilling at the moment. Um, and uh, well, we're really getting a very good sun uh, today because uh, Singapore has been experiencing protracted monsoon. It's been raining heavily, like really pouring. Uh, and so it's been really good to uh, get a bit of sun, get a bit of a uh, day out and enjoy uh, the beach a little bit on the weekend uh, before the rain comes back again, which we expect it would. Lots of people are out playing volleyball. It's pretty good to see uh, people are out and about enjoying themselves on the beach. It's always good. I mean, Tanjung Beach is one of those uh, places that uh, are quite popular with the locals and um, well, even tourists. But uh, locals would take their dog here and give it, give them a run, take them into the water and have a swim. Uh, so. You know, once we're done with that, we went to Tanjong Beach Club, which is just right next to it. Um, here's the club view from where we were seated, and you can see it's packed. Uh, all the seats and tables were taken up, more or less, or reserved. Uh, we couldn't get one of those umbrella umbrella seats, and so we ended up sitting on the bench uh, nearer to the counter. Uh, it was a pretty good day. I mean, uh, you know, the views were great, lots of people about, and uh, we had a really wonderful time having our brunch and so we enjoy ourselves. In a little while I will just show you uh, a sketch that I did from my photograph collection of the morning. So I took this photograph on the way back uh, to the uh, you know from the trip and uh, I started sketching it. I didn't sketch it on site so it doesn't really count as an urban sketcher sketching uh, activity but nevertheless I wanted to capture it in my sketchbook and uh, if you have not watched the tutorial on sketching uh, you know figure using light on dark dark on light I'm essentially using the same uh, the link will be up above uh, where you can check it out so here we are just uh, you know, capturing the figures and the figures in the distance. Uh, and my plan really is just to have a lot of uh, hard edges washes, basically. Keep it simple, uh, you know, 20 minute sketch, uh, nothing fancy, just use flat wash uh, throughout. And I intend to go in with dark first, uh, very not watercolor like, uh, but it doesn't matter. I mean, you could go dark first or you could go, go light first and it's all to me it's just about which one you're more comfortable i want to make sure that i get the tone right for the dark uh, spots so i went in with a dark uh, green for uh, the uh, uh, trees the plants uh, from you know background if you like and essentially the colors i used was um, thalo green with a dash of uh, alizarin crimson the per permanent version uh, I dropped in a bit of green gold as well, just to give it a bit of a uh, lighter value. Uh, then I went in with 
blue and turquoise uh, for the sea um, the shape of the sea or the uh, basically just you know run right through at the back as part of the background uh, I start putting in the 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 shadows as well uh, essentially it's French ultramarine with a bit of permanent alizarin crimson and a dash of queen burn orange uh, same combination goes into shadows of the umbrella the seats uh, the figures even uh, and so on and so forth uh, because as uh, as I have shown in other videos um, sometimes it's just beneficial going in with a shadow just to tell yourself where the darks are and the shadows uh, it does make uh, sketching a little bit faster well it's for me it might not work for you but it does work for me when I know where the shadows are I decided to take uh, artistic license instead of a green umbrella I went in with a orangey sort of uh, umbrella just for contrast there's blue in front uh, and so you know blue and orange it's a much better uh, eye-catching contrast color than say green and blue uh, I put in a bit of uh, lemon yellow with a bit of uh, Naples yellow into the beach uh, the, and you know at some point I dabbed in a bit of Queen uh, gold and Queen burn orange as well just to give it a bit of a warm tone I paint over the shadows of some of the parts uh, just to blend and unify the color I actually forgot a bit of a spot uh, the far end of the beach uh, and I went on to paint uh, in sort of dancing brush if you like cobalt blue uh, sky uh, here's a blue uh, the blue umbrella a small umbrella in front of the green umbrella um, and at this point I decided to go in uh, much darker on uh, the darker spots if you like oops kind of spread out um, I have to uh, kind of clean that up with a tissue dry it up uh, and uh, make sure I get the dark values right you can get um, colors wrong but you should try not to get values wrong values as in like the darkness uh, of the shape uh, the, the sketch will work if you get the values right so as long as your values is correct uh, you'll be fine and uh, devil a bit on the rocks far away uh, and then some of the shadows under the tree same thing I use a tiny brush just to uh, use give it a bit of line and texturing uh, paint around the figure uh, give it a bit of a three-dimensional sense in terms of uh, the distance tree I continue to uh, dabble on with my darks and uh, that should gives a bit more three-dimensional sense of uh, the sketch itself I don't intend to give it too much detail or too much form uh, but uh, really just to give uh, a very clear or a very uh, quick rendition of the scene uh, from the photograph now that I remember to put in a bit of the distant sand uh, and a bit of a orangey signboard don't want too much um, attention on it so I kept it really light and now I'm ready to put some lines, some details, uh, and some skin tone colors. The skin tone colors consist of uh, lem um, Naples yellow with a uh, dash of Queen Rose, just to warm it up. I even paint some of the same colors in the shadowed part of the figures. Uh, your eyes can actually see the, the Naples yellow and uh, color. They are slightly opaque. Uh, at this point, I continue to darken the shadows and shapes to make them pop uh, I feel like the figure is too light so I go in with a much darker version and the same thing with the figures under the umbrella the one that you can only see half of it uh, deep depth more dots dark just to make it pop uh, make it three-dimensional don't have to be accurate just give it a sense um, and now I just need to make sure that the, the figures on the right doesn't look like it's chopped uh, in half uh, so maybe I have to do something to kind of clean it up a little bit 
a few lines just to give indications of the umbrella uh, here I go with a bit of uh, mid-tone on the uh, figures on the right just to uh, kind of give it a, a, a interesting shape if you like a bit more on the shadow I think I'm done uh, don't really want to do too much with it so I hope you've enjoyed uh, my uh, vlog of uh, Tanjong Beach in Sentosa it's been a blast going out with Cassie our dog uh, to give it a run as I said it's been raining today it's been sunny so it was good to be out I hope you stay safe wherever you are and thanks for tuning in you say you're young.